Piano Solutions uh, workshop and uh, in this video, like all videos before, we show you some tools. And as you remember uh, before, all the tools uh, that we uh, show you in the different uh, procedures, it's kind of very simple tool that you can build it and we hope you already start to do it. But this one is going to be a little bit uh, complex. And that's tools that you use in duplicate, in the process of duplicate damper action. Why it's so uh, complicated? Because uh, it has to match position of the keys. Because the keys uh, from the back, uh, they lift each one and uh, operate uh, dampers individually. Beside this, your keyboard sliding uh, by the pushing the left pedal is sliding on the right side. And it um, um, has to be precision that it's always on the, uh, the lifters here on the damper action. The reason why we replace them, you know already. First of all, it's a wear already. It might be a lot of damage or lose uh, on the pins. And another thing that Stanway, in order to do their product really fast, because they manufacture like 5,000 and sometimes 10,000 a year, they have to uh, really just in the, in the technological process to simplify this, they, they glue the flanges, you see, they glue them. And in, if it's happened, then they lose, you got a big problem. You just uh, got no access uh, to this, uh, uh, to repair it. And another thing that uh, all the uh, damper action parts with the rigid tab, they just not satisfy the um, requirement for the modern pianos. And we have to replace them on a, a flexible tab. Unfortunately, on the market, there's no parts uh, that match the rigid tab dimensions. And we always got uh, problems uh, because the uh, difference between dimensions is a six millimeters between uh, a rigid tab and the modern one. And uh, it was a big issue uh, to make uh, the parts uh, at the same dimension. Now, of course, only one company, Takiva, were able uh, to create uh, the piece. Uh, now I show you, it's very high quality, excellent uh, craftsman. They did these parts. Now we uh, able to replace the rigid tap without any alterations. In Piano Solutions, we always replace them for actions uh, because it's a very important part. Your right pedal has to be always solid and operate as good as possible. Uh, now, uh, since you know already why we do it, we want to show you how to do it. Uh, the damper action inside the piano, sitting in a certain position uh, on these blocks. And that's why our tool designed the way that we have the place to put our damper action that we want to replace on the position, like it's in the, inside the piano, on the, just the uh, straight uh, surface of the belly. Anyway, we uh, position it, and we have a special clamps here. They designed just uh, uh, for the blocks that we tie them, just not to be uh, moved. We wanted it solid. And from the uh, left side, the same, the same clamp. We just lock it here. Now, we, uh, you see uh, our damper action positions like in the side of the piano. We got this certain just um, lifters. You see how they operate to keep uh, our uh, tray on a, uh, on a certain position. Like our original damper action position the same way. Now, it's a matter of the seconds we just put them towards uh, the laser beam. You see, we put it right on the center of the uh, center pin of the lifter, as from the right side and from the left side. Uh, it, means, it means by doing this, we basically set up dimensions 
of uh, how this our new action going to be positioned. Now we know our uh, damper action, how it's positioned. Now we want to actually start to work with our tray. Talkiver, they give us a pre-cut the tray. It's very nice wood. It's uh, if you check it, it's very just like straight, amazingly straight. Uh, it's very just like appreciate. We appreciate this quality. And now we have to uh, basically start to work with this. How we do it? We just take our temper action back. Yes, we put our clamps back and from now on we can take our side blocks out we got this uh, measurements here we put it to one bar it's a solid bar and we have the the bar that move it like that and now we get you see our um, original damper action lock between these two dimensions like that we can take it out and place it on the table and that's our tray take it here and with a pencil one of the bar we just can make the line like that and we're gonna cut it because we need the right dimension for this tray in order to get to our uh, second tool well, we have uh, the table so here just place them like that clamp it and uh, we highly recommend to put a sliding table on your table so because it's a dangerous if you do it by hands but in this case you you just protect it you just slide the table yeah and uh, that's why our tray uh, the same dimension like original now there's another uh, very complicated step to do uh, to drill the holes uh, exactly like an original action and this is a very complicated thing they used to do it like that they put a tape here and uh, mark the center of your uh, flange and then you transfer it to uh, this new one and uh, drill it somehow in our case we we do it uh, using our special tool that we show you again like on all our tools we got of course the lights here right once you put the light right away the picture become very clear yeah we position our tray uh, on the, uh, one of the bars and of course here uh, uh, already they did the line that uh, our uh, screws goes it's because of design of this we just like make it a little bit more clear by putting on the pencil as you see, what is our tool does? It's a, it's a moving table. And uh, as you see, we got here uh, the bar with the center that are already set up identical with the uh, bit. And uh, that's why uh, if you get uh, uh, important position here, it's gonna just like, duplicate it right on another side. Uh, let's uh, install our original damper action can be moved to any flange here and meanwhile our tray here is moving too we can of course in order to secure it to be sure it's uh, right on the position and not moving anywhere we can use like small clamps here to uh, to keep it in a, in a position like that just to secure it because you don't want anything move here now as you see uh, we can just position our center bar to any flange and uh, we just position it right across the first one as you see it especially made a square not a point because square is easy to uh, get to any flange and as you see our drill bit going right in this position if you calculate the position from here to here it's going to be exactly from the center to this bar and uh, as you see we the, it's already everything just uh, set up we turn it and we work like that we just like drill it and we move it to the next 
And as you see, it's exactly one by one. It just drills all of them. We're taking dimensions from this flange, as you see, and it straight goes to your new tray. It's very accurate. Yeah, you see, it's, uh, it's done really fast. We roll it back and uh, we take the clamp out to release it and we can take our tray out of here. Yeah, you see, it's, uh, it's done very accurate. And basically we duplicate uh, uh, the same position of the flange just like on the old one. The one uh, very important thing here is uh, uh, that they do it here, as you see, is this cut, this cut for, uh, uh, for our uh, connectors, the, the susten sustenuta pedal. And that's why they need uh, some openings here. As you see, it's done by hand, by chisel, it's originally. And we have to make on our tray a similar thing. And the way how we do it, of course, we do it uh, the way we position our uh, tray here. We uh, position both of them. As you see, they're the same uh, dimension because we cut it and calculate them right. We put them together. We just like get this dimension. Like here, it's stopped here. We just like make the line. Here, we just like it's stopped here. We make the line too. And we just like make it because it's uh it's not so just critical here but you have to make as much as similar uh, uh, like original we just make the lines here and uh, like that beside this we just calculate it's around like a quarter quarter of the depth so we just like made our dimensions similar just like make the line here and that's that's excess we have to cut here, like that. The only thing that it might be a little complicated, once we do it, uh, to hold this uh, tray, because it's uncomfortable. Uh, we got this compartment here, you see? We got a special clamps. They design especially for these purposes, as you see. This is for, uh, from the left side, you place it here and you lock it on the table and similar another one from the right side you just like position it here and you just lock it now you can work uh, here and then you use the sharp uh, saw and you just like cut it, cut it, cut it like that four times And as you see, it's pretty steady. It means you can work comfortable with no hurry. Like that, and make sure it is no hurry. You just like start it slowly, and then you can do it a little bit. Okay, uh, once it's done, and you chisel it out. Then like that. Of course, you have to be careful not to, to cut unnecessary things. Like that, and a little bit on this part. Yeah, once you're done like this, you might use, use your file. The same like it was. Yeah, you release it, and uh, you have to do one more thing that is very important it means uh, our uh, tray is supposed to rotate on the on the pins here and the position of the uh, pins uh, in our case it's uh, uh, design here in the center in the best position that is strong for these purposes we did here you see this the guides that once we position uh, uh, our tray 
to these guys and we just show you how we do it. We use the drill bit that already just set up for the pins and we just place it in, uh, in a guide here like this and keep uh, it close so we just... and then from uh, from the left side the same way we just put it position it holds okay it's done if we want to we can uh, put our pins here and we just like hammer them here like that like that like that and as you see they're very accurate and nicely here now uh, since we got some uh, pieces here we glue these ones here we glue this one here and then we glue the felt here like that locks you see it's just like you put a glue here and then press it to, to the end like that in our case is going to be decorative of course it's it gives a little bit strength uh, here but uh, mostly it's a, uh, in our case is going to be just serving the decorative purpose, like to complete the ends of our damper action. And the same here. Got here already groove. You see, it's just designed especially that it goes right here. But on old fashioned uh, way, sometimes they put a very fine papers on the ends. And if you want to do precise dimensions of, of, uh, for uh, this damper action they uh, leave the place here and in our case we do it like this we just tape it let's say a quarter like that we put the tape like this the quarter and when we apply the glue here we know that our uh, quarter inch is going to be open and you later on can do the fine paper to adjust it perfectly. We just, okay, in, in this case, the best way to use your finger, yeah, because it's sensitive, you can feel it. And once we did it, like that, we take our tape out, like that. And as you see, here is gonna be just empty space that uh, later on you can use uh, the papers to adjust it but now we glue the piece like that we will just like it and you wait a little bit till it dry and uh, of course you can you cut it right away with a razor blade like this it's going to be excess and it's done uh, of course uh, this is uh, the wire that uh, goes here just to control your flanges you have to put it and then we are ready uh, ready to install our flanges take to cut this piece of wire and basically now we have to wait wait five ten minutes uh, when it's dry <laughs> 